Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of division with two digit divisors. This is standard 5.3c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 33 of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Tara has a box of 908 beads, and she wants to put 15 beads on each bracelet. So each lets us know we have to deal with equal groups, so it's going to be multiply, multiplication or division. What is the greatest number of bracelets that she can make with these beads? So if I were to draw a strip diagram, we would see our total here is going to be 908. That's how many she has. The question is, is how many groups of 15, 15 beads for a, each of these bracelets, how many groups of 15 can she make? Well, I could count by 15s up to 908, but I think that might take me a while. So the easiest thing for me to do is going to be to go ahead and set this up as a division problem. Now, this is going to be just like regular division. We're going to follow the same steps, except as you can tell, our divisor here has got two digits. So 15 is going to be a little bit larger. So what I would suggest is let's just take our 15s and let's just go ahead and get our uh, multiples of 15, right? So 1 times 15 is going to be 15. So 2 times 15, let's see, we're going to double that. 15 and 15 is going to make 30. So 3 times 15, I'm going to add another 15, so that's going to be 45. And if we go ahead and get our 15s out of here, that's actually going to make this, let's see, 45 and 15, that makes 60. For 15 minutes, make 60 minutes for an hour, that's pretty easy. That's going to make this go pretty quickly if we get all of our 15s, just up to 9, because we always want to divide with a single each single digit in the dividend at a time. So let's see, add 15 to 60, that's going to be 75. And then, let's see, we're going to add 15 to 75, that's 90. We're going to add 15 to 90, that's 105. And if you can't do this mentally, you can always just use, you know, pencil and paper, keep adding these up, but I've got 120. So I've got my 15s up to 9 times 15, and then it's going to be 135. So I'm ready for anything that this problem can throw at me. 15 does not go into 9, but 15 goes into 90. Take a look at this. I already figured that out right there. It goes in there 6 times. 6 times 15 is 90. So there's nothing left over. I need to bring... My 8 down and 15 does not go into 8 at all. So what that's going to do is that's going to leave me with 60 as a remainder of 8. Take a, take a look at how they phrase this problem. What is the greatest number of bracelets that she can make with these beads? That lets me know that, that the people that wrote this problem, they knew it wasn't going to go evenly. So we are supposed to interpret this remainder, because I've got 60, remainder 8, and look at my two choices. I've got 60, and I've got 61. So those are my two choices. Well, let's see what happens. What if I did want to make 61? So let me multiply that right here. So let's say I've got 61 necklaces. Each necklace is going to use 15 beads so let's see 5 times 1 is 5 5 times 6 is 30 second row 1 times 1 is 1 1 times 6 is 6 so let's see what this does for me here this is going to give me 915 well that's problematic because I only have 908 beads so I'm close to making 61 but my answer is going to be C, 60.